so go to royal queue app the most right bottom which is your profile basically which is stated mine then press asset so you have to deposit around 150 to 200 dollars depending on the price of the robot so you have to leave off around a few dollars recommended depending on your size of your buy-in for your robot setup so from here why do we need extra is because of the fuel fee something that many people don't actually tell you about uh, this robot trading whenever you set a robot trading it does take up some fee to execute it so now you already know what's the importance of deposit is to buy the robot and also to make sure that you have fuel fee to do that you just press deposit and here we only use trc20 okay so please do not deposit any non usdt the deposit may take a short while to arrive funds may not be withdrawn for inactive account so we press deposit this is the address for me so copy this and then use your other exchanges like kucoin hobby binance transfer using trc20 which is trx and from there you will get your deposit and you can start purchasing the robot so this wallet address this one doesn't tie in to your exchange bind with how to know you can bind with what kind of exchanges is api binding which is now binance hobby coinbase and indodex okay first things first the only thing that i for me use in malaysia is hobby i cannot use kucoin kucoin is only a method of transferring a usdt but when it comes to api binding which is another video there's a lot of videos example outside youtube you can bind it very easily but it's best to use a website not a phone okay because they have different features displaying on a website compared to a mobile phone so here i have hobby api binding i'm trying to say here right now the wallet address that in royal queue is separate is for fuel fee and to buy to activate the robot so the api binding is do not touch anything about the fuel fee so you have to have that in mind fuel fee is meant for the wallet address and deposit in royal queue app alone and the api binding they don't touch royal queue already said that in the beginning they don't even touch your money because you already go through the thick whether they are allowed or not allowed to, to do any uh, withdrawals from your wallet address which is very crucial for you guys to do an api binding correctly and do not mistakenly put a tick to the site where yes they have the right to withdraw from your exchange for example if you were to wish to bind to your hobby account that tick is very important okay and then this is where they use the funds from the Huabi. The robot will basically communicate with their exchange to do the trading only to execute a trade automatically, hence the API binding. So that is that. And you can watch my video and I have explained thoroughly on which uh, kind of crypto that you, you think that you want to try on to trade with the robot and all the best peace in my experience in royal q uh, this app is very very money hungry and you need to know how to set up your robot that do not take up so much money and execution unless you know what you're doing okay if you watch my video on this i already explained every drop have its execution you know as they have to have execute or a certain percentage for example if xrp were to hit uh, now xrp is at 33 cents let's say it's 34 it went down to 32 let's say every drop is two percent right two cents 34 to 32 is two percent so let's say there's going to be a buy-in and the buy-in for the robot is best to set it at one because some people don't have the uh you know the money the capital and uh, whenever this is their first go and they want it to be very very safe and they don't want to lose a lot of money it's for them to understand that 34 32 is somewhat a lesser risk compared to when the robot by default settings set up for you to buy 10 times of the price of your initial which is dangerous like sometimes the robot default at ten dollars by then you're getting like 
by 10 times you're actually spending hundred dollars just for one buyout at the bottom and from there you you don't even know how the fuel sometimes depends sometimes it can be increased and decreased that also takes up a lot of parameters for you guys to parole and that is where you have to have uh, actually few days monitoring on how the robot actually execute and how many times and how much the transaction fee is cost every time they execute a trade so yeah really really look into my video on this and really look into how you trade a few days first get the hang of it if you like the way it goes for this one coin only then you can try multiple coins or you can do a copy trading so there's a lot of videos i already made in royal q you can check that out i really hope that you understand what i'm trying to say here uh, this all depends on your personal experience in trading and also do not be a trader do not know what you're doing okay you have to know what you're doing because this is money we're talking about it's money that people might say yeah i can try out just money i don't mind losing but when it that thing happens you kind of be like piss off a bit why it's not happening the way that you want it to be so yeah guys that's it for this video uh catch you guys in the next one peace